Hey guys, it's Castle, and I'm back to review a movie. Today, I will be reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is, of course, a sequel to 2014's surprise hit Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy is a great movie, in my opinion. Not only is it my favorite movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it's my favorite comic book movie ever. I had insanely high expectations going into Volume 2, and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 100% delivered. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is pretty awesome. Right from the get-go, you know what kind of movie you're getting into. I think a lot of filmmakers don't understand how powerful the opening credits or opening scene can be, because that is the opportunity to let your viewers know this is the kind of movie you're going to be getting right away. And Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 lets you know right from the opening credits. The opening credits are really fun. So by far the best part of Guardians Volume 2 is the characters. Volume 2 does everything a great sequel should do. It takes these characters that you know and love from the first film and builds on them. It expands your knowledge of them. It gives you more backstory and more reasons to care about them. So when, say, an action scene comes, you really are invested and you care that much more about the action scene and it's a lot more tense and on the edge of your seat and awesome. Which leads me to my next point. The action scenes are really, really cool. There is a lot more action than the first, which I love, but more action does not automatically mean a better movie. And like I said before, these action scenes are a lot better, and it does make it a better movie because you're invested in these characters. The movie al also introduces us to new characters like Mantis and Ego, who's Peter's father, and it also introduces us to new locations like every sequel should do. The movie is extremely well directed and has amazing visual effects, and there's actually a lot of moments where I was laughing out loud funny. I just feel like I could watch these Guardians go on these adventures all day long. So in the end, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is an extremely fun action comedy sci-fi movie that entertains you from start to finish. And before I give you my grade of the movie, I've got to tell you about my new grading system. So the worst rating you can get is a horrible. Then it's really bad. Then it goes bad, then it goes meh, then it goes good, then really good, then phenomenal. So I'm going to give Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 a really good. It's not perfect, but still a really fun ride. So I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I know this is like my first video in like nine months. I'm really sorry about that. I've really been slacking on the content, but from now on, I will be posting, try to be posting every other week, if not more videos a week. I really hope to get some more reviews out, some more superhero talk out, some more just film videos out, some short films and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to get back into YouTube. And I know this video was kind of late, Guardians of the Galaxy came out about three weeks ago, um, but better late than ever, I guess. So if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And if you like this, subscribe for more content and videos like the one you just watched. Thanks and enjoy.